Now, The X-Files is one of those shows that really paved the way for modern-day science fiction television series. Without it, you wouldn't have had such shows as Fringe or Buffy the Vampire Slayer, to name a few. Now, since the series ended, a lot of people have been wondering, you know, what's going to happen, and this is going to tell us exactly, because the last movie was kind of disappointing, so let's just get right into it. As the comic starts, we're going down the street, and we see a person is running away from these hooded figures. And who else is this but Dana Scully? And of course, much like the TV show, what I really like right here is how it's set up as the X-Files logo fades in. It sets up the mystery before the comic officially starts. Very good a little touch, and you can definitely tell that these guys were fans of X-Files as this comic goes on. From there, the comic jumps to earlier in the day in Dana, and we see that she is now working in the medical field in a hospital, helping a little girl. But who is this? Our favorite bald guy? No, not Stone Cold Steve Austin. Skinner. But then, of course, as it goes, we go to Mulder in a really nice, funny little scene where um, he kind of ends up spooking the little kids, and they even call him Spooky. Of course, we know as show fans, Spooky Mulder was his nickname. Now, the next scene is really meant for us giant X-Files fans, and this, of course, deals with the three of them getting together and Skinner laying down what is happening. Now, right here, they get straight into the mythos. Dana even mentions about the kids she had. You know, Skinner denies it, that there was never ever any proof. We, of course, as watching a TV show, know exactly what happened. Uh, very cool little nod to fans right here. They don't expect you to be a new, you know, new fan to X-Files if you're picking up season 10. They expect you to know what's going on. Really like that. Later on that night, we see that Mulder is actually writing a book about everything that's happened to him, his adventures. The truth is out there, of course. And we see that Dana is being confronted. And we this is when we cut to the beginning of the comic, where we see that she is actually shot by the little girl. And, you know, we're kind of left in a state of flux. And as the comic ends, you know, I'm really just surprised as to how much care and everything they took to us fans of the comic. It picks up, it gets straight into the story, it doesn't try to, you know, beat you over the head with new stuff. They know what they're doing, they know what it is. The art, while a little bit wonky in parts, I still thought was great. I'm just glad that there's X-Files and that it's back. I love this comic. I give it a 9 out of 10. Highly recommended.